When you are short on cash, you face a choice. Keep driving your old car and repairing it, or look for a new car that will serve you with new issues. That's where the 2023 Hyundai Venue shines. Serving as an entry-level vehicle with a sense of style, some extra utility, modern technology, and a long warranty. The Venue is the most affordable way to buy a new Hyundai. The 2023 Kona, on the other hand, is a practical and fun-to-drive vehicle, which makes it one of the best in the segment. With its distinctive exterior design, spacious and well-appointed cabin, and a range of safety and technology features, the Kona is a compelling option for anyone in the market for a small SUV, whether you are running errands or out for a weekend adventure. So, is the venue's lower price tag ready to dissuade you from getting the more expensive Kona? Well, let's find out! The 2023 Hyundai Kona has a distinctive and eye-catching exterior design that sets it apart from other small SUVs on the market. The front features a bold hexagonal grille with a unique pattern that is flanked by narrow LED headlights that wrap around the corners of the car. The body is sculpted and has a muscular design with a sloping roofline that gives it a sporty look. The wheel arches are flared for a rugged, off-road-ready appearance. The rear is equally stylish with a sleek rear spoiler and slim LED taillights, and a metallic skid plate on the bumper which adds its off-road inspired look. Being smaller than the Kona in every dimension, the 2023 Hyundai Venue has a youthful exterior design that sets it apart from other small SUVs in its class. Its compact size and boxy shape give it a charming and quirky appearance that is sure to appeal to younger drivers. Its familiar large hexagonal grille at the front is flanked by unique split headlights that are positioned high on the fenders and feature LED daytime running lights. The front bumper has a sculpted design with contrast in black cladding that adds to its rugged persona. Moving to the sides, the boxy shape is accentuated by a bold line that runs the full length of the SUV. The roof line slopes gently towards the rear with 17-inch alloy wheels complementing the overall look. At the rear, unique taillights are connected by a thin stripe of chrome for a modern look. The rear bumper has black cladding that matches the front and adds to the car's rugged and adventurous vibe. Overall, while both the Venue and Kona have a unique and distinctive exterior design, the Venue has a more boxy and quirky appearance that is suited for city driving, while the Kona has a more aggressive and sporty design that is ideal for drivers who want a more dynamic and futuristic look. Jumping inside, Hyundai's designers managed to bring the charm of the Kona's exterior design to the cabin while maintaining comfort and convenience. The dashboard features a clean and uncluttered layout, with a floating infotainment screen at the center and air vents that are integrated into the design. The cabin is well put together, with a mix of soft-touch plastics, cloth and leather trim upholstery, and metallic accents. The climate controls feature physical knobs and buttons, which is a plus. One of the Kona's major perks is its easy-to-use infotainment system, which is augmented for 2023 with the availability of Hyundai's 10.3-inch widescreen display. With that, or the standard 8-inch touchscreen, a user-friendly interface pairs with plenty of physical shortcut buttons, and importantly, physical volume and tuning knobs. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard features on all models. Also now found on top trim levels is an all-digital instrument panel with enhanced functionality and appearance. The inside of the venue might best be described as basic. It has a mostly unoffensive mix of black cloth on the seats, soft black plastics on the dash, and on the SEL Unlimited trim levels, black leather on the steering wheel and shift knob. All the buttons and dials are cleanly displayed, with easy-to-reach volume and tuning knobs below the 8-inch touchscreen, and two temperature and fan speed dials below that. As for instruments and infotainment, the venue features an analog speedometer combined with a 4.2-inch screen that can display various information. As standard, the infotainment display is an 8-inch touchscreen that can use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The home screen is clean and concise, graphics are crisp, and the touch responsiveness is great. One downside is that the screen itself looks stacked onto the dash, which is a minor complaint. Overall, when it comes to infotainment systems, both the Kona and Venue cover the essentials, but the Kona wins here, with both its digital gouge cluster and larger infotainment screen. As far as passenger space, the Kona is on the small side even for the subcompact SUV segment. There is a reasonable amount of space in the front, if not quite as much legroom or headroom as you will find in many rivals. And it gets worse, it's rather crammed in the back. If you are more than 6 feet tall, expect your knees to be wedged against the back of the seats in front, which is covered in unforgiving hard plastic. Likewise, the Kona's cargo area is on the small side, with the rear seats up, 19.2 cubic feet of space is available, 
and when the rear seats are folded, only 45.8 cubes are available. On the other hand, the venue seats are nothing special material-wise, but the Kona is still the total passenger volume kin, but the venue's front seats are spacious and airy, both the driver and passenger get a healthy 39.4 inches of front headroom and 41.3 inches of front legroom. And the back seat even feels surprisingly roomy for a 6 foot tall. Total passenger volume rivals that of the Nissan Kicks at 91 cubic feet. In terms of cargo space, there is just 18.7 cubic feet, which is 0.5 cubes less than the Kona. Drops the seats down and you get 31.9 cubes, which is a whopping 13.9 cubes smaller than the Kona. Pricing for the 2022 Kona SE starts at $23,550, including destination. Standard equipment is pretty generous with 16-inch alloy wheels and a full complement of driver assist features. Next up is the SEL for $25,200, with a top limited trim going for $30,950. All-wheel drive is a $1,500 option. 2023 venue starts at a more reasonable $20,600 for the base SE trim, including destination, of course. The mid-range SEL goes for $22,400 and tops out at $23,500 for the limited trip. Being so competitively priced against the Kona, you can get a fully loaded venue limited for the price of a base Kona SE. When it comes to performance and handling, the Kona comes with two engine options. The SE and SEL trim levels are powered by a 2-liter inline Ford that produces 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque paired with a CVT transmission. That, or a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine producing 175 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Although power in the base engine is modest, we found it to be sprightly enough and is a nice complement to the Kona's general fun demeanor. The 1.6-liter turbo is just as potent as ever, and although its dual-clutch transmission can occasionally be a little slow to respond when starting from a stop, it largely behaves like a normal automatic once underway. The suspension is comfortable without being too squishy, and athletic but not crashy over rough roads. The steering has an unexpected heft and crispiness to it, with only a little looseness on the center, and it was refreshing to see an automaker other than Mazda step up to the level of driving dynamics in this segment. Another bonus is that the Kona has a lock-in diff and hill descent control. The Hyundai Venue is not powerful, but it's peppy. The 1.6-liter engine produces 121 horsepower and 113 pound-feet of torque. Despite the small amount of power, the venue has comfortable, if not quick, acceleration. It certainly feels peppier than the Kicks, even though they both have similar power and weight, but compared to the base engine in the Kona, the difference is evident. The engine thrashes and buzzes at high RPM, the CVT transmission works fine, but has a bit of rubber band response to throttle inputs. The set ratios for the manual mode make it feel sportier, and it shifts between them smoothly and promptly. The venue also strikes a good balance between ride and handling. Most bumps are smoothed out, and only large ones result in a bit of floatiness. Going over multiple successive bumps doesn't make it feel jittery and unsettled. In corners, the venue turns quickly and the body doesn't roll as much, and the steering is weighted well and it builds up resistance with more input, but does so with an artificial springness. It does understeer, however, quite a bit. When you are short on cash, you face a choice. Keep driving your old car and repairing it, or look for a new car that will serve you with no issues. That's where the 2023 Hyundai Venue shines, serving as an entry-level vehicle with a sense of style, some extra utility, modern technology, and a long warranty. The Venue is the most affordable way to buy a new Hyundai. The 2023 Kona, on the other hand, is a practical and fun-to-drive vehicle, which makes it one of the best in the segment. With its distinctive exterior design, spacious and well-appointed cabin, and a range of safety and technology features, the Kona is a compelling option for any